welcome back to my channel. Today I have Lily with me. You probably recognize her from a few of my other videos. Hey guys! Yep, we're super excited today. We have an awesome video. It is going to be underwater photography. And I'm a little bit nervous for this. Me too. Yeah, we're both a little bit nervous. We're gonna see if the shots actually work out today. Just so you guys know, we uh, are very good swimmers and we know how to swim. We have a whole bunch of safety stuff set up. Plus we have a whole bunch of professional equipment. So please don't try this at home. And we have people around here, adult supervision, that are gonna be watching us, just in case we do need something. But before we get onto the video, here's a giant reminder. My giveaway ends tonight, my back to school giveaway. Reminder that it has an awesome iPad Pro. So you guys wanna make sure that you enter that by clicking the i button right here or the description box below. So make sure you enter that right now. And also, I want to challenge Jordan Matter to this underwater photography thing. I want to see if he can do it. He does a lot of awesome photography of dancers. So let's see Jordan if you can do it underwater. So today we are doing a simple black leotard look and just we're going to be doing some dancer poses. Then we're going to do a really pretty multicolored dress and some more dramatic shots and maybe some flowers or some books, just some really innovative shots. And we're also gonna be doing a mermaid tail, so that'll be really fun just floating around. And I'm really excited. So when I'm under the water, to actually get me to hold under the water, I have these heavy weights. <laughs> and it's a lot harder than it looks. I actually have to like bring them down with me and then set them on me so I stay under. And then once I'm ready to come up, I have to move them down. I have my camera right here, and I have a GoPro right here, so this is gonna look awesome. And let's go. But we're gonna do a lot more dancing shots in this first one, just kind of to mess around and have more fun. It's just kind of more of a fun, bubbly, like two teenagers hanging out in the pool taking some pictures. She's obviously a dancer, so I want to get some more of her dancer moves in there and things that would be harder when she is wearing a dress. And it'll be super interesting, and that way she doesn't have props in the way of her. And it'll be interesting and nice for her to kind of get an introduction to uh, being in front of the camera and underwater while taking pictures. The poses are great. Let's see if you can do them a little bit higher okay. because it goes down, so oh. I can just see like the bottom of the pool. Yeah, thank okay. you. Ready? So I can tell Lily's really struggling underwater down there. It's really hard trying to get her to go under and then coming back up. I know because I've tried doing a lot of these poses when I was testing the camera out, and it's a lot harder than it looks. So I'm trying to get her to get a little bit of a break when she comes back up so that she can breathe, and then go back under and do the pose. Okay, so you pick the dance pose, but when you go down, like, smack the top of the water, oh, so kick it, and so it has a bunch of bubbles. All right. Oh my gosh, this is so hard to stay under the water, but it's also fun. Cameron and I keep on trying out new poses, but having a great time. My goggles are so foggy. I can't literally see anything, so I'm trying to uh, do a home remedy here really fast. We looked it up and it says spit is one of the best ways to fix it, so. Oh, that's it. So I'm spitting in goggles currently. So I think I got a lot of good, just simple shots with her black Leo, and now we're gonna add in another kind of prop. We have a skirt. <laughs> so this skirt, it's pretty interesting, it like ties. I don't really know how it works. Ryland just came out and said, hey, I have this skirt that might work. So I think it might be fun to do some where it's like, she's just blowing it around or something like that. It's like hard because basically I want to get as wide as I can because she's doing like really wide poses. So I'm trying to get wide back, but then she's going pretty deep as well. So I'm getting the bottom of the pool. So I'm trying to find the right balance between where I should stand and where she should be to get the right shot. So I'm just kind of experimenting with placement. I just scooted her back and I scooted all the way over here. So I think this should work. Uh, so we're going to test it out. I'm in the grotto because it's the only place that's like dark enough to actually see the camera, especially when it's in this underwater case, it's kind of hard to see the pictures. So I find shady spots is easiest to see the actual pictures and kind of get an idea of what they're going to look like. And then Lily's here to kind of see what she needs to work on and what we need to do to move forward. Yep. Ready? Yep. I think we got it, and now we're on to the next shot. Here we go. 
So might as well for this kind of fits the theme of simple beauty, but I want it to be more pop, and so there's a lot more to look at in the shot besides just the dancer like the first one. So I'm gonna have lots of props like flowers floating around and some really cool things like that that I think will really capture the audience when they're looking at the pictures and will really understand kind of like what I'm thinking behind the picture and behind the camera. So I really like the poses. I just wanna add a little bit extra and I'm gonna try to get some flowers floating around her. This dress is going really well. Um, I'm super excited to see these shots. The white flowers were a perfect fit. I think they worked out really great. It's a little bit more complicated than I thought, trying to get the flowers. Yeah. <laughs> and hopefully we can get a few more shots with this dress. Yes. And I think we are done with this dress. Hey, won't you pull me another? I'm going in. So wish me good luck. So the red dress to me, the red kind of symbolizes like power or something like that, kind of like more female empowerment. So I really wanted a red as a strong color. So I'm in, I'm excited to see how these pictures will turn out when she's under the water and wearing the red dress, and then with a few props. Get my eyes of you. Maybe we will regret. Tomorrow is another day. So and I, I tried this one and it looks really cool. Basically there's this dive and a whole big trail of bubbles follow. So I want to see if it looks cool with the red dress. Can you do a dive? Yes. Okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay. So wish me good luck. Yeah, I gotta put on my favorite song. I need a boost. Let's turn up the love. Because it's on. Are a lot harder than I thought they would be. They're flowing all around, her hair's all over her face, so it's a lot more stuff to worry about than I thought it would be. But I'm um, just trying to take as many pictures as I can and do it as many times as I can. Hopefully, I got a shot. Let's pray and hope that I did. Should go home to my bed, sleep it off. But I can't stop believing you're the one I'm gonna be with tonight. So I Okay, so she's wearing the red dress and the roses just look so perfect with it. So I want to do something where it's kind of um, above the water, but it looks pretty cool and it's kind of just where she's floating and then there's roses just kind of all over around her. So now we're moving on to the book. It's probably the hardest one because it has the most props, I'm mean, not props, the most pieces to it. Um, but I think if I can get it, it'll be a really awesome shot. Camry always has really innovative ideas and she's really easy to work with so those ideas can come to life and yeah we just work as a really great team and Camry's great with the camera. <laughs> You're a mermaid now. Yes. My inspiration for this is obviously just mermaid. This one's the hardest shot because I feel like mermaid's a very hard concept. Um, it can also be pretty little kiddish, so I'm trying to make it a little bit more grown up uh, with the flower crown and um, hopefully some things I can do in Photoshop afterwards. But we will see. This one is definitely the most unpredictable of all mm -hmm. my shots so far. So we're just going to have to test them out and see what happens. So Lily's doing an amazing job with this mermaid tail. She's actually doing way better than I thought she would and um, way better than I could do. So I'm super proud of her for getting these poses and nailing the shots. So you may have noticed I have this ladder across the pool. This is for safety reasons, so this basically means if one of us is tired while we're swimming, we can grab onto it and then we're gonna be fine and we can float there for a second. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. It was a ton of fun. It's hot. It's like 111 degrees right now. But it was super fun. So if you guys liked it, make sure you subscribe to my channel by clicking that red button down below. Make sure you enter the giveaway. It ends tonight. So make sure you click the description box or the i button to enter. And also check out my other videos by clicking over here. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.